Hi everybody, it's me, Mr. Valvano, and I have my trusty buddy Olena here today. She smells very good because we had a bath. Well, she had a bath this morning, and that's it, right? We are very excited because we have got a really great book tonight. I just previewed it. It's one of my new titles. Uh, I believe that Benjamin O'Farrell and his family picked this one out and, and gave it to me. I appreciate it. Um, you are going to laugh. This is a laughing book. It's a silly one. Um, and I also wanted to just send out a quick birthday wish to Mrs. Rodriguez, our pre-K teacher. Today is her birthday. Um, so I hope that she had a wonderful day for her birthday. All right. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. She's ready. Tonight's book is called Stop that pickle and it is by peter armor and illustrated by andrew such i think is how you say it i'm very excited about this because it is super silly and we're gonna have a good time tonight stop that pickle it was lunchtime when mrs elmira deeds waddled into mr adolph's deli I would like a pickle, please, she said. Why, certainly, said Mr. Adolph, wiping his hands. He unscrewed the lid on the giant pickle jar and looked inside. There was only one fat pickle left floating in the brine. Mr. Adolph tried to spear the pickle with a long fork, but each time he did, the pickle swam to the other side of the jar. This pickle did not want to be eaten. Mr. Adolph was rather embarrassed by this turn of events, and he began to dig around in a drawer looking for some tongs. As he was doing this, the pickle climbed out of the jar on his little green legs and darted across the counter. He ran out the door. Eek! said Elmira Deeds. No one had ever seen a pickle move quite so fast. Stop that pickle, shouted Mr. Adolph, giving chase down the street, ran the pickle. <laughs> Mr. Adolph quickly pooped out and had to sit down on the curb. Reclining on a nearby plate, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich heard the alarm and leapt up. Everyone knows that a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is not the fastest sandwich in the world, but it does have great endurance. The sandwich chugged after the pickle. Stop that pickle, it shouted. As the pickle and the peanut butter and jelly sandwich passed a bake shop, a fat braided pretzel climbed down from the counter and stumbled onto the street. It ran a few steps behind the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, scattering sesame seeds as it went. Stop that pickle, cried the pretzel. I think this is my new favorite book. Enjoying the sun on a nearby tree, a lovely green pippin apple heard the pretzel's cry, shook itself loose to join the chase. It rolled down every hill it could. A crowd of toasted almonds, 17 of them, came skittering down the street. Where they came from is anybody's guess. Stop that pickle! They peeped with their tiny little almond voices. A scurrying crowd of raisins, a cake donut, came right behind. The last to join the parade were the cool bottle of grape juice and an elegant vanilla ice cream cone sprinkled with chocolate. They all had just one thing to say. 
Stop that pickle! <laughs> this is hysterical. But the pickle was too fast for all of them. He had a great time zigging and zagging and thumbing his green pickle nose at his pursuers. Sometimes he would stop and read a newspaper to give them a chance to catch up. They were the slowest food he'd ever seen. <laughs> on and on went the chase. It seemed like it would never end when oof! Rounding the corner, the pickle collided with a young boy. Uh-oh. Stunned, the pickle just lay there. The collision had knocked the wind out of him. Quickly, all of his pursuers gathered around. You've caught the pickle, they all cried to the boy. What should I do with him, he asked. Why, eat him, of course, they shouted. They were all a bit beside themselves. He's just a silly pickle. Now, it just so happened that the boy had been playing hard all morning long and somehow had misplaced his lunchbox. He was terribly hungry. He looked at the pickle, who immediately began to cry big, briny tears. And then the boy had a better idea. What do you think he's going to do? Take a guess before I turn the page. What do you think he's going to do? He ate the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, the fat braided pretzel, the lovely green pippin apple, the 17 toasted almonds, the handful of raisins, the cake donut, and drank the bottle of grape juice. Finally, he polished off the ice cream cone. The only thing left was the pickle. Bet you didn't see that coming. The boy looked at the pickle and shook his head. Mm-mm. Who ever heard of eating a pickle after ice cream? Stop that pickle! So the pickle got away. After all, the pickle got away. I think this was funny. I really like it. I hope you had as much fun listening to me read it as I had reading it. Because I really did. I had a good time reading that one for you. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will be back in the morning. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Um, and I will do prayers and virtue with you in the morning. Um, and stories again tomorrow night. We'll keep this going. All right. I miss you all. I hope you had a great day. And take care. See you tomorrow.